Earth is now experiencing the human-induced sixth mass extinction. As a result of this ongoing extinction event, we have been warned of biological annihilation in the near term, a situation guaranteed to take out most, if not all, living organisms, including, and especially quickly, our favorite species, Homo sapiens. Humans are a relatively new species on Earth, and we require a rich and varied habitat to survive. Specifically, we need stable ecosystems and a delicately balanced and stable temperature in the vicinity of 13.5 degrees Celsius. Humans are therefore far more sensitive to ecosystem collapse than, say, crocodiles, dragonflies, bacteria, or other such organisms that have survived previous mass extinctions resulting from abrupt planetary warming. You might ask if this phenomenon can be reversed, and also how did this happen? No to the former, and allow me to explain. Civilization, and more recently industrial civilization, has knocked the Earth's delicately balanced ecosystems and stable temperatures off their centers. These centers allowed prior species of humans to evolve into Homo sapiens over the last few million years. Homo sapiens is only 300,000 years old. As a result of industrialization, several dozen self-reinforcing feedback loops that have no way of being stopped are causing global warming at a rate that is unprecedented in human history. Only an asteroid impact comes close to the rapid warming triggered by industrial civilization. The planet has warmed one and three quarters degrees Celsius since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, about 1750, when the baseline temperature of 13 and a half degrees Celsius was established. The primary cause of planetary warming to date is the more than 40 greenhouse gases that are clogging the atmosphere, acidifying the oceans, and trapping the heat that comes from solar radiation. Very recently, meager efforts have been proposed to reduce carbon emissions, with the goal of staying below 350 parts per million carbon dioxide. These ideas fail to address underlying human activities as industrial civilization grinds on unabated. Ironically, research published since December 2011 indicates that attempts to clean up the atmosphere are likely to have unexpectedly poor results. Specifically, the aerosols that are spewed into the atmosphere, along with the greenhouse gases, have an umbrella effect in the upper atmosphere. This phenomenon is recognized as the aerosol masking effect, or global dimming. This phenomenon actually keeps solar radiation from further heating up Earth, thereby keeping the planet cooler than it would otherwise be. The warming associated with CO2 already in the atmosphere is irreversibly locked in for at least a thousand years. However, the aerosols are constantly falling out of the sky, and being replaced daily by global industrial activity. If we cut our industrial activity by as little as 35%, we will trigger up to a one degree Celsius increase in global temperature in a matter of a few weeks. Without the aerosol masking effect, solar radiation will scorch the earth in a short time, speeding up the already accelerated melting of Arctic ice and guaranteeing our hasty extinction. We need the Arctic ice as our planet's air conditioner. Without it, global warming accelerates rapidly and we lose habitat for most living organisms in the very short term. No habitat means no clean water and no food, which means no people. There is no known technology to sequester carbon dioxide at the scale necessary to compete with the ongoing aerosol masking effect. We are in a catch-22. Damned if you do, damned if you don't.